So me and Beth bought a house, and so I thought we'd give you a little guided tour, show you around the pad. Uh, hope you enjoy. So this is the living room. Um, we just love the little living room. Um, we've got a, a cactus. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, we've got two cactus and cacti. Uh, the uh, living room is just a cute little living room. We've got a lovely wood burner. Um, we're going to get a chimney swept soon so we can actually use the wood burner. The lovely wooden furniture um, just it just fits perfectly in there. The sofa was actually left behind, so we've got that. That was something we didn't have to buy. Um, everything's just great in here. We've got our little fireplace uh, with the lights around it, Beth's little cactus lights and our cards. It really does already feel like home. Just love it, love it. And this is the kitchen. Um, it's not as big as some kitchens, but it's lovely. First decoration was the uh, sunflowers, that was Beth's idea. Second decoration was the booze, that was my idea. Uh, so was the pink tea towel. Um, we have some Prosecco from uh, some friends as a, as a little uh, moving in present, as well as our Kilner jars, because who doesn't need Kilner jars, they're amazing. The coffee machine uh, we thought would be Beth's um, little uh, favourite thing in the world but actually she doesn't like it so we'll probably buy a new one um, but her second favourite thing is definitely our food menu board it is awesome bedroom aka the office um, it's actually a really good sized room we'll definitely have a bed in here at some point it's where most of the videos will be made and it's where Beth will do her makeup and stuff like that it is the room in the house that needs the most sorting out so there are a couple of boxes that need to be uh, sorted out oh look there's Bethy So like this is the bathroom, um, it's got some nice exposed brickwork going on, some nice lights. I mean to be honest it's a bathroom, we've got candles, a shower, toilet and sink. I mean I guess I'm not doing it justice, it is a really nice bathroom, but you know, it's a bathroom. So this is the bedroom, uh, the master bedroom, we've got some awesome black beams that run across the ceiling in here. Um, there's like ugly toys on the bed, uh, yeah we do love this room. Uh, the bed itself and the bedside tables we have actually now sold and have uh, got some new ones coming. Um, we have decided to keep the touch bedside tables, they are a favourite of mine. Um, but yeah it's a great size room, uh, I just love it. it, it just finishes the house off perfectly. Um, and yeah, so hope you enjoyed the tour. Here's a little more. So this is it. This is our little house. That was the tour. Um, so we yeah, we obviously still have a few little bits and pieces to sort out, a few boxes to move, uh, quite a lot to sort out, a uh, bit of furniture to buy in terms of some, some uh, drawers and things for the bedroom. But yeah, this is our little home. And we're sat in front of the fire because we got one. That's not on. It's not on, we haven't used it yet. We'll, we're going to get the chimney swept soon and then to wait until it gets really, really cold, which is soon. So, yeah. Do you like our little house? I love it. It was a bit of a, it was a, bit of a mental process, really. We um, 
we decided we'd go have a look at houses. We were looking at lots of different areas and then we we came across Wantage and we saw a house and then we saw another house. We saw a little cottage down the road, like literally just down there and um, a little white cottage and we thought it was, it was really not, it did look really cute and everything and then we just didn't have the urge to go and view it. Um, we also weren't quite ready financially at that yeah. point. And then this one came up and the one in the um, and we decided this one was a bit better to go for because it, uh, the people that lived here, they renovated it over three years, didn't they? Yeah. Um, and they'd basically done all the hard work for us. It's been well looked after. Yeah. I mean, for a house that's roughly 170 years old, it's, uh, I mean, on the in surface really good at least. It's in condition. Yeah, it's in, I would say it's in remarkable condition, really. Like a bathroom, bedroom, kitchen. The, t the two, uh, the second bedroom and then the living room, all been redecorated. New kitchen, new bathroom. All the f all of the uh, exposed brick has been sanded back and repointed. Um, they've had the, w the wood burner put in, um, uh, and we also got the place fully furnished. My cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> the day that we got the offer accepted. It was seven weeks and one day until we moved in, which I think is is pretty cool. We had no chain. Um, the, the 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 bloke who owned this house previous to us, him and his girlfriend, are moving to Canada. When you're buying a house, like I I was clueless. Like I had no idea how to buy a house. I knew you had to put down quite a lot of money as a deposit. Um, but like no one actually tells you the process of like each stage of what you're meant to do. No. Um, I never knew you had to get like solicitors involved and um, like you have to have the house surveyed and stuff and um, it's a lot more complicated than just renting somewhere which which is what I've mainly done. I think we were we were quite fortunate that the financial advisor that we used um, who helped he us get the, get the mortgage? Yeah, he he was amazing. He he went uh, above what he needed to do, really, and, and what um, you know what what he was paid for uh, was was a lot uh, less than what he ended up actually doing. But he every step along the way, he was there to help us and give us advice and and sort of just tell us the process. And yeah, he was he was really really good. But I would say. Even the, the the minimal stress we went through compared to what you know some people have to go through when they're buying a house, it was completely worth it. Um, I think you have to be very patient as well, um, because obviously solicitors and um, all the people involved have to make sure what their all the paperwork is correct and what they're putting through is correct. So I think that's what takes a long time, and it's a lot of like people getting waiting for people get, to get back to you and yeah. um, I think you have to have a lot of patience. Well, I, I didn't want to get too excited um, at the beginning in case it all fell through. So literally till like the last day, yeah. the day before, I wasn't excited, you know, I, I wouldn't, didn't want to get too excited and then when we had the keys in our actual hands, that was the moment where, you know, it's pretty much done. Well, it is done. Yeah. Just to explain, this is a it's a terrace. Um, we're mid terrace, but it's like a little old cottage. Um, I will show you the garden in a different video. It needs mowing, and it's raining outside. It'd be nice to see it though when it's at the beginning, when it's all um, sort of not very nice looking. <laughs> I will film the garden and put it in the video. There you go. Mm -hmm. We need to say a big thank you to everyone that helped us get to this point, basically, because we didn't do it alone. Um, everyone that helped with the moving, um, everyone that helped um, f 
financially, people that helped um, mentally and just with information and support. Um, so uh, obviously that, that came from our families and, uh, and our friends. Um. I don't think we would have been able to do it without um, the support of like loving family and friends around us and every, everyone did their little bit um, to help us get here. Yeah. And um, uh, it feels really nice to have like people around you to be able to do that for you know to help you. Yeah, it's nice having a, a nice network, sort of support network, um, for want of a better phrase. But yeah, we are very thankful for everyone that helped us. Um, and do uh, you can always come round and, and we'll make you tea. Have a cup of tea. Yeah. Meet. <laughs> so on that note, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like. Uh, please subscribe. subscribe. He needs one that's subscribers. Exactly. Um, also subscribe so you can see any more house update videos because of course you want to. And all that leads me to say is see more of you later.